Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eric Bernbach, and it's truly my great pleasure to welcome Rock the Street Wall Street, along with founder and executive director of Rock the Street Wall Street, Maura Cunningham. I'd also like to extend a special welcome to all the organization's supporters, TD Ameritrade employees, and all our distinguished guests to NASDAQ. We're excited that you could join us right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to ring today's closing bell. Let's get things started with a round of applause. <laughs> Rock the Street Wall Street programs inspire, educate, and equip girls with skills to succeed financially throughout their lives and potentially pursue a career in finance. Girls learn about the capital markets and their role in maintaining the welfare of the economy by simultaneously helping them see the real world of application of the math content they learn in the classroom. Currently, RTWS offers their programming in five cities, Chicago, Dallas-Fort Worth, Memphis, Nashville, and New York City, with plans to expand the footprint. In, the, in addition, RTWS recently took a field trip to TD Ameritrade, which is listed on NASDAQ under the symbol AMTD. RTSWS also had a group visit NASDAQ earlier today. We'd like to congratulate Rock the Street Wall Street on all your accomplishments and wish you the best of luck in the future. And now, please join me in welcoming founder and executive director, Maura Cunningham, to the podium for further remarks. Maura? Thank you, everybody. It's so exciting to be here. Um, wow, that's all I can say first. Uh, from a master's dissertation on girls and math and how we lose them at age nine in the United States to one afternoon financial literacy workshop offered at a public school in Nashville, Tennessee, here we are today. And we are offering our program, as Eric mentioned, in five cities across the United States. And now, three years later, when we, after we became incorporated, as a 501c3 nonprofit, here we are again. Here we are, Rock the Street, Wall Street, standing at the podium of NASDAQ. Uh, <laughs> ready to ring the market closing bell. It's been a long, strange trip. What's next for us? We at Rock the Street, Wall Street envision a funding, we envision a funding syndicate of the top investment firms coming together to eradicate financial illiteracy across the United States while at the same time creating a wider pipeline of women in the STEM professions, namely the M in STEM, namely finance. Why we do what we do. The number one reason girls state that they don't enter into the STEM professions, science, technology, engineering, and math, is that they don't see women in, the, women in those professions. Number two reason, they don't see their girlfriends choosing those professions. It's that simple. Rock the Street, Wall Street's new model for financial literacy education, pairing ripped from the headlines information, along with exposure to the industry's leading f female financial professionals, aims to move the needle on both financial literacy comprehension and on increasing the number of women coming into the financial services profession. As one of my idols says, the first step to establish that something is possible then probability will occur. We have, we have to believe that it is possible to get the leading investment firms to come together as a syndicate and work together in tapping into the other half of the species' latent math talents. We have to believe that our industry welcomes women into their teams and into the C-suites. Given that 80% of the teachers throughout America easily state that they are not qualified to teach personal financial literacy, we, as an industry, can send in our troops into the classrooms all across America to teach, to teach them. We can walk the walk and talk the talk. We are, uh, I want to thank at this time Judy Ricketts of TD Ameritrade particularly for helping make our visit to NASDAQ happen today. I want to thank her too for sharing our vision, for understanding that if girls can see it, they can be it, and for her financial support of Rock the Street Wall Street. She's helping to change the ratio. 